good morning and welcome to wonderful Winnipeg now the wonder about it is I wonder how many mistakes I'm going to make today I see it now people were trying to tell me it was these two that were wrong and I kept thinking oh they're talking about the fact that I got this one and this one reversed this was just way too obvious you, you couldn't expect me to see this it was just too obvious <laughs> well we'll see what we can do about that a little later I did come back to the model table so we're gonna have a rollback as some of you have already seen the beginning of it <laughs> uh, yeah anyway uh, yeah we we got the we got a good start on the breakwaters here and we're just gonna move forward today and I imagine by the end of today we'll have this one down maybe even some mushroom vents who knows now we we did have a sunrise this morning it's a nice day out there it's it's cool though it's uh 18.9 in the in, in in the sunny side of the house <laughs> so it's it's going to be a cool day um yeah the sunrise was nice uh speaking of the sunrise it's now going to start being more and more and more to the right uh and it'll until it finally gets itself where it's coming up around Merv's flag if you remember from last December <laughs> yeah that's the way it goes as uh, Kevin said in a comment yesterday uh, old man winter is soon gonna be here oh yeah and then this old man will be just doing a lot of complaining about the snow <laughs> okay uh, what else was I gonna mention oh yeah uh, this morning I noticed that uh, uh, Canada Post sent me a, a notification to let me know that Tennessee Jim's uh, package is in Winnipeg and I don't think it'll be delivered today but probably by Friday so it'll be interesting to see what what he sent maybe it's a pizza no I don't think so <laughs> okay let's let's uh let's just carry on here and uh roll back <laughs> a few minutes ago i just finished proofing my last episode which is just uploaded onto youtube and i guess probably in about two hours and 45 minutes or a little less it'll be released and people will be viewing it and I can just see the comments coming in and they're going to go something like this did you know that your C2 and your C7 you got them reversed they're the wrong way around um, now I glued them in probably about I'm guessing three hours ago now and I I'm sure that I could pull them out but if I do I'm probably going to take plastic and, and you know I'm gonna make a mess in other words and the only way anybody is going to know that this one and this one over here are the wrong way around is if you happen to see the manual at the same time as you see the the model uh, which is not too likely except for on YouTube <laughs> um, so I'm just going to leave it. I, I'm, I'm going to leave it. But I just want to let you know that yes, I, I did see that because it could be that people are going to notice and they're just feel going to feel that they're too polite to tell me I made a mistake here. But anyway, yeah, I, I know I got them wrong. Anyway, let's let's see if we can continue on this afternoon here. Um, yeah, to, we, we've got all these parts here down, all the all the ventilators now for this bar bed anyway. I, actually, I don't think there are any. Uh, no, there are no, there are no ventilators that go around this one or this one. So uh, th this was it. So next we have to, if we're going to be working this way across step 15, the next thing we're going to want to do is uh, is put these in place. So uh, I would I would think that it wouldn't really matter which order I go. Well, that's that's the wrong way. 
Gotta go like this. Okay, just let me recompose here. Maybe we'll do some of that this afternoon yet. And, and this evening too. My goodness, I got about six hours before I pass out. <laughs> Okay, where's my pointing stick here? Now as near as I can tell, this peg goes in this hole. And if I page ahead in the manual, it looks like there's two mushroom vents go here and here. I'm surprised that they are so close to the edge of, of the uh, gunnel, but that's where, that's where trumpeters got them. Okay, so this peg goes in that hole. Now then, uh, this peg would go in this hole. And this peg would go in, in this hole. Uh, everything is on the opposite side to me here. I'm, I'm sort of sitting on the wrong side. I don't know if that's a good idea or not. Okay, let's, let's see if we can get this in here. <clears throat> or are we going to have to drill these holes out a little bit? Now I just want to interrupt you for a moment. You will notice that the background and the foreground is a little bit fuzzy, a little bit blurry, out of focus. Well, that's because I forgot to stop the lens down. The lens was shooting, you might say, wide open. And uh, the depth of field is uh, practically zilch. You will often hear me say, I'm going to stop the lens down for depth of field. Well, this is what happens if I forget to do that. Anyway, I just thought I'd mention that. A couple of different ways I can fasten this down. We could uh, probably use extra thin from the back. And then it would sort of look like weathering because it is going to stain on the deck. Um... Let's just see how this one's going to go here. Mm, this isn't right. Unless there was supposed to be a, a walkway between there. Oh, maybe, maybe there was some sort of a fold-down gate there. Yeah, just let me check the manual here. Yeah. There is there there is a gap right there. Okay, uh, that that probably explains why this brace is is angled back instead of uh, straight out this way. I don't know if you can see it or not, but so what are we going to do there? Are we going to use extra thin on that, or well, let's just for the fun of it, let's let's just try some extra thin on on this one here, and. Uh, and just see how it looks. Maybe I should uh, put the macro lens on. Okay, this is an example of where one of those overhead tripods would be really good for camera supports. Now let's just see what's going to happen here. Okay, now that is wicking its way along both both directions. I know we're we're sort of got paint on paint there, but I think if I'm careful, that should that won't fall off all by itself. Now maybe to do this other one here that you can just barely see. Um, this one, I'll bring the camera in from the other side.
Okay, I think when that evaporates, yeah, it's leaning back enough. Yeah, it's, it could go lean back just a little bit more here. That looks pretty good. Okay, when that evaporates, I think it'll be a reasonably strong connection. Now I realize you you can't you can't see this far end here, but. Uh, seem to want to, the peg doesn't seem to want to go into the hole. Just pull it out there and see what's going on. I'm sorry to be getting my fingers in your way there. I think maybe once we get some uh, some extra thin on there, it's going to sort of meld itself. The plastic is going to meld. It's almost like it's sitting up on the uh, part of the base of the turret. It doesn't want to go down. In fact, that that is exactly what's happening. Okay, you know, I think what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to sand this one little corner down here. I'm just going to push stop for a minute. Okay, we're back here. I don't know if you can you can see it, but I I filed that corner down a little bit. file it a little bit more. Okay, let's try it now. It seems to be better. Yeah. Okay, let's get our, our extra thin flowing along there. Get some in the corner where the filing was done. Okay, that should be enough. Now we'll just sort of work that down. Now remember that paint and everything is going to sort of turn into sprue goo and when it evaporates it, it should be good. Now we'll do this one. Carefully here. Make sure it's leaning back so that the braces are actually flat against the, the planking. Okay, I think that's going to be okay once it's dry. Okay, I've moved the camera around now over onto my side, and, and this is the piece of breakwater that we just glued on that we had to file down. And I just wanted to show you here. Well, first of all, you notice that it is glued up against the side of the barbette there. It's almost like it's kind of welded with the sprue goo. It's starting to dry now. About 10 minutes has passed. But this is the ledge I was talking about. That It was sort of riding up on, on top of this. And I just couldn't get it to sit flat on the planking. Okay, let's quit poking at it here before I break it. Well, I think we did pretty good here today. We got our breakwaters on this evening, and uh, tomorrow we'll uh, do this one and this one. But 
as I say, that's going to be tomorrow. We'll see you in the morning. Well, it is morning. And what can we do here, if anything? I haven't tried this yet, but I'm hoping that I can break those out cleanly. Now, I, I know that there, there, it's been suggested that you can re-soften stuff with, with extra thin, but I know that if I do, if I use that much extra thin, in all likelihood, what's going to happen is that it's going to be running out onto the deck. It's going to be blending the two different paints together. And I want to, I want to see first if, if possibly we can sort of snap these out. It's been, it's been about uh, 20 hours roughly since I glued these on. So the, the plastic is probably pretty brittle. I'm thinking maybe the best way to go is, uh, uh, I don't know, just maybe pry, pry them out from the turret. Just let me move you in a bit here. Well, that one was loose. Now that was a huge surprise. That was a huge surprise. You'd almost think that I'd never glued it in. This this might be an easier fix than I thought. So let me put something in behind there. I don't want to... Maybe I should be putting the macro lens on. Do you, do you know what? I, I wonder if, if maybe I never glued this one down. I, I wonder. Uh, just let me uh, recompose here. I, I'm, I'm in shock. <clears throat> okay, we will move in a little closer here, but it almost looks as though I did not glue this one down. It was just sitting in there. I'm not seeing any, uh, you know, glue residue or anything like that. Now, now here's the, here's its counterpart on the other side, and 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 that's 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 pretty uh, pretty well fixed in there. And uh, this one here, let's just see if we can. Oh, I don't wanna, I don't accidentally break our pipe off. Okay, let's let's just get this out of the way for a moment here. Okay. I did say I was going to move in a little closer. Now, Okay, now that, that actually went easier than I thought it was going to. I thought I was going to be ripping plastic up really bad there. Uh, now I'm wondering, maybe it would be easy to switch these other ones around as well. Sort of like pulling a tooth, not that I've ever pulled a tooth. So that one goes on this side, and this one here. Goes on this side. I might not even have to clean it off. Maybe the uh, 
maybe the uh, extra thin will sort of uh, soften everything up there. And it'll just sort of, uh, if you know what I mean. Okay, let me uh, move back in again. We'll see if we can put this one in place now. Now what I've done is I have uh, re-tapered the bottom of our uh, of our vent and we'll just let this sit for a few seconds. Okay, I think that square hole is probably uh, softened a little bit. Try and see if I can possibly twist it a little bit. I don't think so, though. I think this, I think the hole is probably. I'd like to twist it to the right like this, but uh, maybe it's okay. Uh, no, it's got to come out from the barbette a bit. Uh, I know you're looking at an angle, and you probably can't see it too clearly. Whereas. There. All right. Now let's swing around to the other one. Right now you are on the other side of the ship facing towards me. And I've got to sort of reach over it here. And not make a mess. Oops. I dropped our, I dropped our uh, ventilator here. Good thing it didn't go down one of those holes in the barbette. I think it's uh, down as far as it's going to go. Oh, my goodness, is it ever crooked? That's somewhat better. Okay. That's starting to uh, solidify, you might say. Now, what I would really like to do today, and I don't know if I'm going to or not, it's still only not even 10 o'clock in the morning, uh, but Remember I was talking about something that would hang down from the gantry and I could rotate the camera around something? Well, this is a perfect example of something that I'd like to rotate the camera all the way around and get a nice close look. But it's not just this, there's other other things on the ship that I'd be able to do that with. And, um, uh, you know, I can sort of do it with a thing that I made three years ago for the, that I used on the Bismarck, and it, it kind of worked, but as I mentioned, it, it only goes so far, and then you, then you run into part of the ship. Whereas if it hangs down, it can go all the way around. Uh, until the cable ties in a knot or something. <laughs> uh, but, uh, yeah, um... Uh, I, I think that's what I'm going to do this afternoon. So I may be sort of cutting this video a little bit short, but maybe we should try and get get these on first. Because it, it seems to me a couple of hours ago I did say that's what we were going to do. So uh, let's just recompose here, and, and and this should go fairly easy. But you know, Murphy's law. Now, little did I know that Murphy's Law was just about ready to kick in, and our plans for this afternoon are going to change. Maybe we're not going to get the breakwater on. Yeah, I've been expecting this. I think I talked about it earlier in the episode. It wasn't coming until Friday, so I thought. But it's here now. Oh, there you are. Well, thank you, 
so much. You're very welcome. Have a good day. Thank you. Yeah, look at this. Nobody brought me nothing. <laughs> nothing. Nothing. Yeah, this is uh, a new Coca-Cola. I, I don't know what it is, but it's uh, it's from a guy in Tennessee. Oh my God. Yeah. Do, do you mind being on YouTube today? No. Why am I on YouTube right now? Not yet, but you will be. It's all right. <laughs> Hello, everyone. <laughs> yeah. All right, just hang on a second. Uh, hey, YouTube. This is the buddy that comes over and has coffee with me Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. <laughs> Hello, everyone all over the world. <laughs> okay. Nice to have you with us today. <laughs> okay, later, yeah, we'll see you. I can hardly wait to get in and open this. Yeah. Run the water over. Make sure it's not radioactive. <laughs> well, folks, you saw it as it happened. I don't think I deleted anything out. We are going to have ourselves a box opening. If I can sit down without falling down. Make ourselves some room here and recompose. Now I did phone Tennessee Jim just a little while ago and I asked him if it was okay if I opened this on camera and he said okay. So here we go. Okay, whatever it is, it is very well packed. Well, I'm disappointed. It's not pizza. I think it's time to change the blade here. Okay. Maybe I'm going to have to uh, move you in just a little bit here so you, for the big reveal. But, uh, Shrink wrap sure is strong stuff. Okay, just, just let me uh, readjust the camera here. Oh, for heaven's sakes. Pizza day, eh? <laughs> I like the A here. Yeah, that's so Canadian. Jim, Jim, Jim. <laughs> All right. I guess you know what coffee cup we're going to be using tomorrow morning. <laughs> I think tomorrow was scheduled to be Blue Jays Day, but you know what? We're going to have a special one. <laughs> it almost makes me want to go and have pizza. You know what? We're going to have to cut today's episode off. Thanks for watching, everybody. And thank you, Jim. <laughs> we'll see you tomorrow. Now, I had said that we were going to use this mug tomorrow, but you know what? I hadn't read the card yet. And Jim's idea was that we should have this for pizza day. 
So that's what we're going to do. We're going to save this for pizza day. And tomorrow will be Blue Jays Day. Yeah, now we'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>